What's up everybody, John here with Motivation Theory. So in this video, I wanna pose a question for the entire running community, the entire running community that follows this channel and all of the running community around the world. Oh, and before we get started, please make sure if this is your first time on this channel and you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you're watching this video and you like the content, please make sure you hit that thumbs up and click the bell so you get notifications each and every time I release new content. All right, so I wasn't very inclusive with the last video that I released. I left the, almost the entire running community out of the list that I allowed everyone to name. Now, I did a list on the top 100 mile races that either you've done or that you want to do, your bucket list, and you know what? There's not a whole lot of people when you start talking about the entirety of the running community around the world that really want to run 100 miles. But in this video, I want to have a little bit more fun and I want to include the entire running community. So we're going to talk about, you know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to pose a hypothetical situation that if you could only run three races for the rest of your life, what would those three races be? Now they could be at any distance and what I want you all to do, and I'm going to name mine after this, I want you all to go down in the comments, list your top three races, and you have that's part of the rules. You, you have to have run the race already so that you know that's the race you want to run. Um, list your top three races, the name of the race, the distance, and where it is. I think uh, this is a good way of exposing a lot of these great races from around the world to everyone, and it's interesting what others find um, intriguing and uh important in, in races that they choose and why they choose them. Without further ado, here are my top three races that I would run if I could only run three for the rest of my life. Not in any particular order. These are three races that I've run multiple times and that I absolutely love. And I've always said if I could only run these races, I would run them for the rest of my life. Number one would be the Marine Corps Marathon. I've run that seven times and this year will be my eighth if they have it. It is an awesome race in Washington, D.C. I just love the atmosphere. The Marines put on a fantastic race, and it's just a really cool event to take part in. Um, they do a really good job with the race. It's a fun race. There's a lot of cool things to see in D.C., and I just really enjoy being around all the people in that event. Number two, the JFK 50. The JFK 50 was the second ultra marathon I'd ever run in my life, and I fell in love with the race. I love the history of the race because it's the oldest 50 miler on the east coast or in the country it's a very interesting race it's got first 15 15 and a half miles on the appalachian trail then it dumps out onto the Sino canal and you have 27 miles on that and then it finishes up with uh, some eight miles of rolling hills to finish the race it is a phenomenal race it's tough and it's just a re really great atmosphere it's still kind of got that small race feel to it even though it's not i wouldn't consider it a small race but it's still kind of got that feel to it the people are great. The aid stations are great. You get a lot of really good conversations, especially running along the CNO Canal. I've met a lot of really cool people, anywhere from veterans to uh, people who are retired to rocket scientists. I ran uh, probably 20 miles one time with a rocket scientist. He had this long hair. It was crazy. He's a great guy. Um, I've even had to pull an old Marine that probably had run it 30 something times. He had fallen off the CNO Canal. We had to drag him back up. Old guy ended up making it like 48 miles, ended up dropping out. Felt really bad for him, but um, you, you see a lot of really cool stuff out there. Marine Corps Marathon, JFK. This third race was a hard one for me to pick because there are a couple that I really do like, but I would probably have to pick the ATR 24-hour race in Northern Virginia. I've run it twice, and that was going to be my comeback race that I'm supposed to be running at the end of April. So... I like this because it's in April and then JFK is in November and the Marine Corps Marathon is in October. So they're all kind of spread out. Well, the ones at the end of the year aren't really spread out. But the ATR 24-hour race is kind of a smaller race. It's a looped course, 6.25-mile loop, and it is a phenomenal race. It's a lot of fun, and you get to see a lot of people on that loop. You know, With it only being 6.25 miles, you're spread out enough so you're not crowded, but it's small enough where you get to kind of see people and talk with them. So I'm super excited about running that race again. And they have a whole series of races. They have a 12 hour, an eight hour. They do all kinds of other things, other parts of the year. So it's, they do a really good job. So that is my top three. I want you all to list your top three down in the comments. Um, and I'm also gonna leave a link to my last video where I talk about my top um, five 100 mile races that I wanna run. 
I'll put a link to that in the comments and in the description and at the end of this video for you to click on and watch that. And if you have a comment on that, please go ahead. I know you might not want to run 100 miles, but it's interesting to, to see what everyone else is putting there. And maybe you'll find some something interesting in the list that I put together. All right, everyone, please remember to like and subscribe um, and uh, leave a comment below. Leave me your top three races. All right, everyone, until next time, I will see you. Bye.